Hey guys, it's Brooke with EV Sportline here with another install video. I'm going to show you how to properly install these Rivian crossbars, which is the first step in installing our Yakima rooftop tent. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is make sure these latches are unlocked. You're just going to want to push the lever up and you'll hear that click and they are unlocked and ready to go. Make sure you stretch it all the way out and you're going to want to just lay it up here. Work our way down. Latches in. And you'll hear the first latch on this one. And you want to clip this down and see how it doesn't latch all the way down. You're going to hold that down, kind of give it a shake, and you'll hear that second click. So we'll go through that again. Lift this up. Unlocked and out, put it back in, you'll hear the first click. It's loose, hold it down, give it a shake. You hear that second click. Put the second one on. Again, stretch it out. Push it up here. Push these in. Then you'll wanna use this key and you'll lock it. Lock that, and they're good to go. You don't wanna lock each side as well. Now we'll go to our rooftop tent. All right, so you're gonna wanna unbox your tent, lay it down on the floor on some cardboard. We're gonna show you how you can orient the brackets. This is the recommended way to fold the tent off the side of the truck. The brackets are gonna be in line with the longest part of the tent, which also has the hinges right here. We have the crossbars lined up here to show you how they would be on the truck bed. We can switch it around and show you the opposite way. Um, this is going to be to open the tent off the back of the truck. And this way the brackets are going to go along the shorter side of the tent, opposite of the hinges as well. And then you'll see the crossbars are going to go the opposite way. And that'll pull it off the back of the truck. Again, we do recommend going off the side of the truck just so you don't get in the way of the tailgate. All right, so we're on the bottom side of the tent and I've got one of the brackets here. I've loosened the Allen bolt with our Allen wrench and I'm gonna slide this uh, clamp all the way to the end of the bracket and it's gonna expose a hole in two slots. How this is gonna orient is you got your inside hole matches your hole and then your other uh, hole will match the slot of the bracket here. So once we get that lined up, I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm just going to mark the edges of this bracket so that I don't get confused later on on the orientation. Okay. So hole on the inside and then the slot is going to be here in the middle and your clamp is going to be all the way at the end. And right now we are uh, lined up along the uh, longer side of the tent so that it can unfold out on either side of the vehicle. So we can go through, take each bracket, slide the clamp to the end, line up the inside. Again, just take some painter's tape to help you out here. Okay, and then go on for the other two. All right, so we've got one of our brackets here. Uh, we've got some hardware um, to the side and these little uh, nuts are gonna slide 
into this channel from the end and you can just get them in the slot. And then if you have a friend that can help you, um, we're just gonna rotate it up right so that when I fold the tin up, um, I'm gonna access uh, the, the inside under the mattress and get the bolt started. So I'm gonna hand this off to Brooke. She's gonna hold it like that. And then I'm gonna fold the tin up Then I'll start here in the, the center. Good. Let's find it. Get that started. Good. Mm -hmm. And then slide this over. Yeah. So having two people is nice, but not critical. So once we get those lined up, you can let go, and then I can tighten them up from the inside with my Allen wrench. You want All right, so we're gonna take the next three brackets and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Start with the nuts in the channel. Have your friend hold it up next to the uh, bottom of the tent and then take two bolts from the inside underneath the mattress and get them threaded into the nuts. So we're gonna continue on. All right, so we've got all four um, brackets and clamps installed again. We're going lengthways here um, in line with the longest side. That's going to let the tent uh, unfold to the side, passenger or driver side, doesn't matter. So, um, one little tip make sure again, these clamps are loosened and they're slid to the outboard positions at all four uh, brackets. And from here, we're going to get a friend to help us throw it on the back. All right, so we're ready to install this on the back, but first we're gonna actually lay this down on the ground. We're gonna fold up all of the uh, tent material and close it before we put it on the back. All right, so next we're gonna move on to installing the ladder. So the ladder is going to uh, consist of two stainless brackets and the ladder assembly. Um, ladder assembly should orient with all of the uh, labels facing up. And then for your two brackets, um, they're going to go over the top of these two black stickers and they will be pointed inward. So we're going to take our stainless steel hardware uh, washer on the bottom side and we'll come up through the bottom get one of our nylock nuts and we'll get these tightened up with some ratchet wrench and a other wrench All right, once we get one side on, we'll just do the same for the other side. All right, we've got our hardware here for um, each uh, side of the ladder bracket. And the way this goes together is we're gonna have <clears throat> this bushing captured in between the two tabs of the ladder. And we'll have a washer on either side the outer 
sides of the tabs. So that's the stack up there. All right, we're ready to put the tent up on the back. Grab you a friend, a uh, family member, whoever you got around, and we're gonna orient this um, with this side here uh, along the driver's side of the truck so that it opens out onto that side. Again, so this is where the tent is actually gonna hinge. Um, it's opposite of the side that the ladder's on. So let's go ahead, get it up into position. And notice as we lift it up, we're going to tilt the nose Watch your finger there. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got the front brackets hooked on to the front Rivian crossbar. Now we're here at the back and we're gonna show you how the, the back clamps are gonna drop onto the crossbar. It is gonna be a tight fit, so you may see us kind of moving and uh, shifting this around as we get it to lock on, but uh, don't worry about it. It just takes a little bit of uh, adjustment, so. All right, we've got the tin on. Um, now what we wanna do is try to get this thing centered front to back and side to side. So right here you see it's very close to the back of the cab, but that's okay because we have all of our brackets loose. We can just slide this thing backwards and a good gap here is gonna be so that we can get back here and actually put the, the cover on top. I'm gonna slide it back a little bit more. That way it gives me, me plenty of room to get in here as I pull the, the actual cover over the top. All right, so we've got it centered uh, front to back. Now, really easy to basically get it centered up um, left to right. So there's a center strap here. We just want to center it up here um, on the tailgate. That looks about good. And it's important that we have this nice and centered because we don't want this thing off to one side or the other. Um, we want to distribute the weight as evenly as possible on these crossbars. All right, next we're gonna tighten up these clamps to the crossbars using the T-bolt that is included with the tent. You're gonna to wanna to thread this in here, try to push the back of the bracket in. You're gonna to need to thread this, so it might take a couple of tries. It needs to go straight back. Oh, there we go. We should have some wiggle room like that. Start tightening. You might have to have a friend come and hold up the weight of the tent as well. And there we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing on all four other brackets. All right, so we've got all four uh, brackets tightened up with that T-bolt. And next we're gonna take our Allen wrench and we're gonna fit it in here to the bolt. And we're gonna tighten this up and it's gonna lock, uh, lock in the bracket completely now. And this sets the tent forward and backwards. And we can now go ahead and lock the uh, lock here, and that way we're nice and safe. Okay. 
So we're ready to put the cover on the tent. And to start this off, we're gonna find the side of the cover that has um, this bead channel on it. And it corresponds to the track here on the hinge side of the tent. So I'm gonna take that bead and I'm gonna run it along that channel. And that'll basically lock in that side. So with that in place, we'll go ahead and fit it over the top of the tent. Um, it will go on without putting this in the track, but it's recommended that you lock it in here on the track first. So we want to make sure all of our uh, buckles are clasped and then tighten everything down and you're good to go. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Rivian and Yakima content.